Alrighty guys, so I have a fun little quick build for us today. I've been working on more hidden tang knives and I need a way to scribe in guidelines on both the handle material and the guards. So I could buy a height gauge. However, I'd like to be able to do this with the tools that I currently have. So we're gonna rig up a height scribe today for a very low cost that works pretty darn good. We'll start off with the components for this build. The first thing you will need is a 321 block. My 321 block came in a pair from a cheap set on Amazon. You'll need a carbide scribe, some hardware, and a piece of aluminum that is one and one half inch by three quarters of an inch. We're gonna measure out and cut off around a one and a quarter piece from our chunk of aluminum here. Once we have it rough cut out on the bandsaw, We'll head over to the 2x72 belt sander with a worn 60 grit ceramic belt to knock the burr off. Then we'll spray it with some layout fluid and start marking out our holes. The first hole is going to be our 3 8 hole, which the bolt will pass through to connect this piece to our 321 block. I spaced that hole out about an eighth of an inch from the top of the piece. To accept our scribe, we're going to be drilling a letter P size hole for the scribe to slide into. I offset that hole a little bit to the side to maximize the amount of threads that my set screw will have to hold the scribe into the piece. The last hole we'll be marking out is for the set screw and as you saw there I almost put it on the wrong side. I want the beefier side to have the threads in it to maximize the set screw's retention in the piece. So to recap, we're gonna have a quarter by 20 set screw, a letter P hole for the scribe, which is about 320 thousandths, and then a 3 8 hole, which we're drilling now, so that we can pass a bolt through this piece and connect it to the 3 2, 1 block. I step up in sizes as I'm drilling this aluminum. I start off with an eighth of an inch bit, then a number 13 bit, because I have a bunch of them, then a quarter inch, and then a 3 8 hole. I do the same bit progression on each one of these holes, starting with a small bit and working up to a larger bit. I'm also very cautious when I'm drilling aluminum to make sure that the bit is clean. I have had situations where chips get stuck in the bit, and that's never a good look. After our 3 8 hole, we'll move on to the side of the piece and drill out our scribe hole. This will be a letter P bit, like we mentioned earlier. This just so happens to be the perfect size for that carbide scribe. However, many different items can fit into this marking hole, like pencils or markers. The last hole that we'll be drilling is for our set screw. We'll work our way up from an eighth of an inch to a number seven bit, which is the appropriate size for tapping quarter 20. Speaking of tapping, if y'all are in the market for a tap and die set, I highly recommend this one. I have used this thing in so many projects and it's been doing a great job. I'm just waiting for this tap to break because most stuff I tap is quarter 20. But so far it's cutting good and it's been cutting good for a while. So after I have that number seven hole drilled, I'll use my chuck to align the tap into the piece so I have a nice straight tapped hole. This didn't take that long because aluminum cuts pretty easy. I then clean up the work area and then clean up the piece so that there are no aggressive burrs on our little piece here. I use the slack belt portion of my 2x72 to round over all the corners so I have a nice smooth piece. The last small operation we'll do to this fixture is to make sure that there are no burrs inside the hole for the scribe left behind from drilling and tapping that set screw hole. So this is the final assembly. We'll slide in our carbide scribe into the fixture, hit it with the set screw to make sure it won't move, and then take our 3 8 by 16 bolt and screw it into the 3 2 1 block. So I have everything finger tight now, but this gives you an idea of the versatility of this height scribe. You can bring it all the way down to the table, and then you can stand it up on end to scribe some pretty high pieces, higher than I think I'll ever need. Taking the carbide scribe out to put in a pencil, 
or a mechanical pencil is pretty easy and you can use this for scribing wood or things of that nature. With the carbide scribe in the fixture, you can set it up pretty close to the granite table and scribe in your grinding targets for your edge or for a clip or for things of that nature. Putting a pencil back in it, you can easily scribe out heights on pieces of wood, guards, or maybe even the front bevel of your handle scales on a full tang knife. This was an operation that I wasn't even thinking about when I built this scribe, and I think I'll actually use it a lot for this. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed that one. I know it was a really simple build, but I have a feeling I'll be using this tool a lot in the coming weeks. So if you like this video, hit that like button down below and also consider subscribing to the channel. Until the next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.